Okay, this next exercise is going to take you right up off the mat. It's uh, full sit-ups, but we're going to do them properly and we're going to make sure that you engage your abdominals and not bring those hip flexors into play. So I'm going to have you start up, start off in a sitting up position, and your feet are going to be flexed. You can use the ball or not. Now, two ways that you can use the ball. Some people like to grip the ball between their feet. It keeps their feet stable because some people, especially if you're just starting out, the legs will just pop up like that and it's hard to really find that angle at the heels when you're just a beginner. So this is one position where you can put your little ball. It's very easy to pick up any store, any dollar store for about three dollars. Or you're going to have it, the ball in your hands. It gives a little bit of a reference point. So we're going to start with the ball between our feet so you can see what I mean. <clears throat> your arms are like so. This is your start position. Now what I want you to do, it's a little bit of a posture exercise as well or at least a posture check exercise because when you come up you're going to just bring your shoulder blades together. So it's just that little small movement. So the up position is not this, it's not this, it's this. All right. Now you're going to slowly go down. So I'm going to squeeze that ball between my feet, make sure they don't pop up off the floor. I'm going down nice and slow on about a five to ten count. I'm going to bring my arms overhead. I'm not going to let them flop onto the floor. I'm going to go right away into my, next, uh, into my next repetition. Arms straight up to the ceiling. At that point, very important, you start to tuck in your chin and imagine someone's taking your arms and pulling you up. All right. So it's not a swinging motion. It's a very slow, controlled motion. So I check my posture and I slowly go down. Now watch what I do with my back. I'm rounding it. I'm not going back like a clipboard, straight back. I'm rounding it. Watch where the round starts. It starts in my lower back. I've checked my posture and I start to go down. Now automatically, what you're going to start to do, if you follow all these abdominal exercises in these videos, you're going to automatically be pulling in your abdominals in from your waistband and doing that little vacuuming in movement. And if you combine that with rounding the back as you go down, then you, it's a win-win situation. You're going to strengthen your lower back and strengthen your abdominals. So this is the beginner variation of this full sit-up. And like I said, most important, especially with all my exercises, all my abdominal exercises, you don't move very quickly. So let's move the ball from between the feet, bring it between the hands, and we're going to do a little bit of an advanced um, variation on this exercise. We're going to bring the arms up overhead, so it makes it much tougher. I'm still going to round my back, going down. I start to tuck in my chin a little bit more because it is a bit tougher having the arms overhead. And I'm going to sit up. When the arms are up to the ceiling, tuck in the chin and up. Pull in your waistband, or sorry, not your waistband. Pull in your tummy from your waistband to help make sure that you teach your body that these are the muscles that you want to help you pull up from a uh, lying down position. It's a very functional exercise as well as amazing for toning the ear midsection. So let's see that again. Arms are up or overhead. My shoulders are down. I start to round my back, I start to tuck in my chin, and I'm going down, bringing the ball overhead, and going up. And I'm going to show you one more variation on this. You can start to use this with heavier medicine balls. Keep that in mind, or a dumbbell as well. But the other variation I'm going to show you is I'm going to lift one leg, and now I'm going to go down. So my arms, I'm still trying to keep them overhead, challenging my abdominal area, and coming back up with that one leg up. So what I've done in a sense is I once had two anchors. In the beginning I had two anchors with a little ball for help and now I've limited myself to just one anchor. That's very hard. And so you're going to do one rep with one leg up and then one rep with the other leg up and alternate. 